most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. All right, welcome back. Uh, you know, we were showing the video from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that today. Nothing like that today. In fact, I don't know if you've been outside recently. You're usually holed up in the newsroom yeah. working very hard. <laughs> it feels a lot different out there. And mm -hmm. this is kind of a small taste of what's to come over the next month. I'm not saying falls here, James. No, please don't. But it's almost like a teaser because the wind is picked up. Look at the cloud cover. Doesn't this kind of remind you of like September, October weather? Yeah, look at that. Seeing a lot of cumulus clouds passing by. None of these producing showers, but nonetheless, a nice day here across Children's Lake, Boiling Springs. And yeah, we needed the rainfall we got yesterday, that's for sure. But now the cool air pouring in behind does kind of set things back a little bit. Temperatures in the 70s too for Duncannon, showing all that blanket of cloud just sitting over top of our camera there. Here's Doppler radar, a couple of showers to our northeast, light rain, but this is all associated with the low that has now moved on from our area, now providing some heavy rain for New England, Boston, uh, Cape Cod getting hit with some heavier rain up through Maine, Bangor, Maine too, seeing some periods of rain pushing on through. So this was a game changing front. Remember yesterday temperatures were around 90 degrees today low to mid 70s so big big change in that department 72 in Lebanon 74 in Lancaster and 74 across Chambersburg Gettysburg and York but looking at dew points so again a measure of how much humidity is in the atmosphere this is dry air for this time of the year dew points in the low to mid 50s at our lowest point that's impressive stuff and that led to a cooler morning too so yesterday's official high 88 degrees ahead of the clouds and storms coming through, but we had several locations get to 90. Now here's kind of the sad part about yesterday's rain. Most of the heavy rain stayed out of our viewing area and unfortunately just under two tenths of an inch of rain, which means at the airport almost a five inch deficit. Again, every time we kind of put a dent in that deficit, it ends up climbing once again on us. So we'll see if we can do a little bit better in that department by Thursday. Our day planner today keeps us dry. Winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting to 30 at times. So a blustery day that brings in these clouds at times, maybe a little bit of clearing too, heading closer to evening, but tomorrow brings more sunshine in general. So tomorrow's the sunny day and really a quiet day too. Not a whole lot of cloud cover, maybe a pop-up shower of the mountains to our west, but I want to show you Thursday. By the time we get to early Thursday morning and also Thursday during the midday hours, there's now this whole slug of moisture that wants to work its way through. Initially, it looked like thunderstorms passing by now. It actually looks like a semi legitimate chance of steady rain for all of us. Now, I won't totally buy into that yet. Over the next 24 hours, we should know a little bit more, but some steady rain would be nice, James, because I just mentioned a lot of us missed out on the heavy rain yesterday. Yes, there was lightning and there was thunder, but the rain didn't have a significant impact. It was more about the winds, that possibility of a weak tornado there in Southern York County. We'll learn mm -hmm. more throughout the day. But for us, we do need rain across the entire region, believe it or not. Even though it seems like it's rained a lot this summer, yeah, that deficit's creeping back up. All right, very good, Dan. Thank you very much. Sure. Up next, a report from the Fed Reserve.